Welcome back to Good Day State Line. A spooky season is coming up, so we are getting a chance to talk with Rachel this morning from Alcatraz East Crime Museum. Good morning, Rachel. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you so much for taking some time to talk to us about this. Uh, many of us have heard about Alcatraz uh, in San Francisco, but this is actually a crime museum in Tennessee. So I want you to tell all of our viewers what goes on there, all about this museum. Absolutely. So we are a crime museum um, in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. So everything about the history of crime from Old West, Bonnie and Clyde, mobsters, famous serial killers, um, as well as um, exhibits on forensic science and the history of law enforcement, uh, lots of interactive. So there's a lot going on. Um, the outside of the museum is, it looks like an old prison. It's uh -huh. inspired by Alcatraz, uh, but there's a lot more going on inside a lot of different topics. So Rachel, how in the world did you end up working at a crime museum like this? So the museum actually started back in 2008 in Washington, D.C., and that's where it started. Um, and we were there for about eight years before we moved to um, Tennessee. Uh, so it's been really exciting to see that evolution in different kinds of visitors in different parts of the country. Uh, my background's in history and museums, so um, that's where I came into to working at a crime museum. But it's been really interesting to explore history from that perspective. We often talk about how it's America's favorite topic. Mm -hmm. If you turn on <laughs> TV, any channel, any of the night of the week, you're going to see something about crime or law enforcement. And when we started, I mean, part, podcasts weren't even really a thing. And now that topic has literally exploded uh, on, in the podcast scene. So it, it's really interesting how any topic at all, even right now with the the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, mm -hmm. there's a connection to crime and law enforcement there. It's really everywhere. I think one of the things that we're obsessed with crime, it's because it seems fictitious, but it really did happen. And a museum, you have right. the, the proof that all of these things actually happen. What is like one of the biggest things you have at the museum that our viewers should drive on over and see? Uh, well, speaking of driving, <laughs> probably the most unexpected thing that people don't think are gonna is gonna be in Tennessee is the white Bronco from the slow speed OJ mm -hmm. Simpson chase uh, is at the museum. We have the real Bronco. Uh, we also have uh, Ted Bundy's Volkswagen uh, Beetle, which is um, something that our visitors are really interested in. But we also have exhibits on um, things like 9/11 and. That's something that is a great connection for our visitors. We have a lot of multi-generational families that come in and it's something that of a certain age, you remember it as a uh, current event. While as we have a lot of kids that come in that weren't even alive then and it's an opportunity for grandparents, parents, older siblings even to connect with kids and tell them about what they see as an historic event. So are there any sort of, you know, Rockford, where we are from, we are known to be haunted. Do you have any sort of like haunted or creepy items in the, your exhibits or is it more just like historical facts? I mean, we are a history museum. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, you can believe in ghosts or not. Um, a lot of people do ask that question. We have um, John Wayne Gacy's clown suits okay. um, that he that he was famous for wearing, and people often ask if there's something you know creepy or vibes that come off of them. Uh, and so it's certainly fun to talk about, and people have their you know stories of feeling chills in the museum. But I can't speak from personal experience. Well, I think just looking at those costumes is pretty creepy enough like, to get the vibe. So that that's for sure something you yeah. want to check out. Um, where can we get more information about the museum if we want to go there this fall? Yeah, it's a great destination in the fall. You can go to AlcatrazEast.com to find information about our hours, ticket prices, packages. Most people spend about at least two three hours at the museum so it's it's a great driving destination perfect well thank you so much for spending some time talking about it today with us rachel thank you very much 
Up next on Good Day State Line, we're showing off the newest rides at Kegel Harley Davidson, and then we're giving you a chance to win an ultimate Game Lovers prize pack with the team behind Unsolved Case Files. But first, it's birthday time. Happy birthday to Laurel. She is celebrating today, and we're also sending a happy birthday to Sarah, whose birthday is on Tuesday. Send us your birthday wishes on the Good Day Stateline Facebook page or send us an email at gooddaystateline at WTVO.com. We'll be right back.